Where have you been? We have been waiting on you to film Thursday Learn Day. I totally set through my alarm. Wake up! Ugh, I just had the worst dream. I dreamt I slept through our Thursday Learn Day shoot. You did? Oh. Hello, good morning. You've been here sleeping for the past half hour. I think that what you really need in life is an alarm clock that can wake you up. All right, so since this is Thursday Learn Day, I'm guessing you're gonna tell me how to turn my Sphero robot into an alarm clock, aren't you? What else would we be doing here? So this program is gonna use events, conditionals, so this is gonna use events, conditionals, and the time elapse sensor to make it work. Awesome, show me how it's done. Okay. Let's break this down into a few different steps. First, let's create a variable called hours, which we will use to set the duration of our alarm clock. The time elapsed sensor returns the data for how long the program has been running in seconds. To translate those seconds into hours, we will use basic math operators to multiply the hours by 60 to give us minutes, and then multiply it by 60 again to give us the hours. We are using the on charging event to give us the snooze feature of an alarm clock. And then, when you pull the robot off the cradle, we have a conditional that will exit the program when the robot is total accelerometer reading over seven Gs. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So you're telling me that I have to get up, get to my robot, and shake it to get it to stop? Yes. <gasps> That's what the conditionals are for. And when you put it back in the cradle, it is gonna turn that snooze function back on, so it's probably best that you just wake up now. Snoozing. Mm, but it's snoozing, so I'm just gonna take a nap. <sighs> the rest of you can go ahead and go to the Sphere EDU app to check out the activity. Sphere EDU app. <laughs> <laughs>